Production support for Hot and Cold is brought to you by American Solar Technics, manufacturers of components for wood burning and solar heating systems. Hey, I'm Tom Gozi. Welcome to Hot and Cold. This is the week you've been waiting for. I know you have. We're going to put Jip Creek down in the bathroom. We're going to make this floor level. The bathroom is all prepped and ready to go. Somebody took the toilet out. There's just a pipe sticking out of the floor, but you'll just have to wait and see all that because this is just going to be such a fun project and we actually have somebody who knows what he's doing, so stay with us. We're going to do a project this week where we level up the bathroom floor and we have with us a real professional. We have Clayton Cole from Solar Technic Contractors. Clayton, thank you for taking the time to come out on what is a very snowy day. Hi Tom, you're welcome. We're glad to be here. And this is something you do quite regularly, not necessarily leveling floors as much as maybe uh, doing radiant floors. Right. Most of our jobs are in new construction, but mm -hmm. we, uh, we run into these and uh, this year we've done a, a a few of them. Uh, mm. More people are doing renovation right now, maybe a little less new construction. So we're encountering this and looks like we'll be doing another one the end of the month for somebody okay. else. So the um, we're putting radiant heat in the floor. We've got tubing down on the floor, but we have a room where everything kind of goes uphill this way and we've got to make it level. Now this stuff kind of self levels itself, but you have a way of making sure we're on the mark. Yeah, like uh, I, I think of water as self-leveling and anything that's thicker than that needs some help. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put some uh, nails in the, in the floor here and there about every three or four feet. Some, uh, okay. We, we like to find in a leveling job the highest point in the room and then we'll add a uh, minimum three-quarter inch for a minimum coverage to that high point. Okay. Then we'll use that high point to set our grade with the nails and pins everywhere else, usually about every four feet if we have a nail or a pin. Mm -hmm. Every four feet, that's enough for us to, uh, to get it to, to, to be level. Okay. So what do we do? Okay. Well, I've set up my uh, little uh, laser here, and I have a receiver. This is similar to the setup that a lot of excavators and foundation guys use. Mm -hmm. And uh, now you're seeing these on all kinds of job sites. They use them for setting windows and doors, uh, inciting, and all kinds of stuff now. Chimneys. Am I supposed to be doing that? I'm thinking about all the things I don't have level. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> well, hopefully it won't show. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this this start will, with the floor, but, anyway. but this will do right. So what do we... You, you... So we uh, identified this area right here um, as being the highest point where we have a pipe on the a tube on the floor. We mm -hmm. want to cover the tube with a minimum three-quarter inch. That's a guideline from the manufacturer in order to prevent cracking. Mm -hmm. Uh, we don't want a cracking pattern to appear over the tubing. Right. And especially since you're setting tile on it, uh, right. cracking wouldn't be a yeah. uh, desirable thing at all. And we did one of these a couple of years ago. I think it was three years ago. And uh, we, we, we use the same tile we're going to use here. And that is just solid, just perfect. And those are one foot square granite tiles. So Good. Um, <clears throat> very pleasing the way it all came together. The Jeep Creek doesn't normally crack. Mm -hmm. uh, like concrete can be expected to crack. It's, a, yeah. it's the nature of the product. Right. And uh, gypsum cements are normally shrinkage crack resistant. Mm -hmm. But it does crack if the floor moves. Mm -hmm. We have a room that's small enough here that I, I don't anticipate that you'll have too mm -hmm. many issues there. I threw some extra wood underneath it too. Just Good. to yeah. try that's to one of the that, That's one concern that sometimes gets overlooked that uh, especially in a leveling job, we might be pouring two plus inches uh, it's an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. It weighs 12 to 14 pounds per square foot. Mm. And uh, at two inches, it's probably more like 18 or 20 pounds times our, our floor area here is about 60 square feet. 
Yeah. So there's 2,400 pounds on this little floor. Yeah. So it, it is uh, good to have the reassurance of knowing that the structure is able to bear that weight. Right. Okay. So what do we do next? Okay. Well, uh, here's our spot, and uh, I'll take the hammer and a nail. Thank you. And uh, we'll just drive a nail in at what I identified as the high point. Quite a hammer. You want a smaller one? Okay, so. Is it supposed to stop beeping when you're at the right elevation? Uh, actually, you get a solid tone. If I got you. Level. Okay. So, you know, I get it to a certain point, and then if you're tipping it, that's why I like to keep it low. You see sometimes they'll set these up on a tripod mm -hmm. and use a long standard, yeah. to, and if it's tipped a little, you can have a, a good-sized error in there. Okay. Well, we're, we're uh, <laughs> this is a small bathroom, this is claustrophobic work, but we're trying to, to get set up, and Clayton, you've got nails now spread all around the room, and you know what, I'm blocking the laser. So I'm going to move over here while Clayton looks at what's going on. Okay, we've, we've set nails uh, every four feet or so, particularly around the perimeter. It gives us something to go by. And uh, we're going to double check a couple of them now. I know this guy's, my battery's gone dead. I'm not getting the uh, colorful tone that we were oh, looking for. Well, we <laughs> there we go. I get it. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. That's what we're looking for, the solid tone. Solid tone. And uh, that's telling me we're a little high. So I'm going to take my hammer and tap that one in a little bit. Okay. Yep, You're that right one's good. We're, yeah. Sometimes you oscillate from high and low, and yep. if it's doing that, I think we're good. That one's a little high. Mind away. Yes. Sorry. Right on the money, though. <laughs> Who needs the laser? We don't need no laser. Yeah. I'm just going to move over here so we're... So on the final check, we're uh, going down on some of our nails. The uh, transmitter was slightly out of level. We're going in a good direction. Yeah. Thinner. We were concerned that we weren't going to have enough material or we were going to be very close, and I can see now we're, we're in pretty good shape. Yeah, and that one's good. That's right on the mark. Cool. So the next step then is to uh, mix up material. Yes. That's a fun part. I'll tell you what, why don't we do this while we get everything ready, move all the lights around, and get... Chris is in the bathtub running the camera today. <laughs> yes. Uh, we're going to take a quick break and take care of all this stuff and be ready for the next big step, which is the fun part. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Well, we're back. Clayton's gone on his Jip Creek pouring clothes. This right. Is, you've done this before. You don't, yeah, so it you is don't a show. Well, well, it doesn't ruin your <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm going to the hockey game later, so oh, I, I want to look presentable. Yeah. So what we have is a, a garbage can. There's six gallons of of water in there. There's a piece of the, this is a brand new garbage can, so I spare no expense on this production. And we have six gallons of water, and you put all the gypsum in, or? Yeah, we're going to, yeah, I like to put the water in the uh, container first, mm -hmm. then add the powder to it. You, you get okay. fewer lumps that way. Now, if I recall, I'm supposed to have this spin in when yep. you're? Yeah, let's, let's start her up. <laughs> this is where it gets dusty, Chris. I want to point out my Cabo grill. Well, that grill's really got some moxie. Yeah, it sure does. That's my Metabo drill from Tech Tool Tech in, in Bucksport. There's your plug, Bruce. Is that good, Sam? Yeah. Looks I got good. the fine stuff. So we're going to add three of these. Okay. Per bag. 
Have you ever drilled a hole through the side of the can? I, uh, well, I have a $30,000 machine that I use, <laughs> so I don't use this uh, method very often. This is the hot and cold method. Yeah. It's, it's really appropriate for this size job. Right. Now, how many of these machines have you gone through over the years? Just, uh, do I still have the original, the original one? Yeah, there's a lot of maintenance on it. Yeah. But uh, it's just parts that wear out, and you know we can replace them and keep on going. Yeah. Well, she's thickened up pretty good. We got some great sound effects going here. All right, well, Clayton, this is all mixed, huh? Yeah, this uh, this mixture looks pretty good for our application. It's a little thicker than we might normally use, but we want it kind of thick in uh, in a deeper pour like this. Okay. Doesn't seem to want to move very much. Right. There we go. Okay. All right, let's uh, pick her up. That's what I anticipated was going to happen. Yeah. All right, so uh, I'm going to take this partial bucket and empty it out over here. I'm we'll going to actually avoid the deep spot. All right, I guess that's... Uh, that's what we got to do is try to lift that sucker right up. You want to go me, right yeah. over? Here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's there. try we'll that. I think we can probably. One, two, three. Yes, sir. Okay. Now we can uh, drag it over. Yeah, let's just do that. We've got to watch out for your nails. Right. You gotta love this stuff. <laughs> All right. Without further ado, I'm gonna get us going on the next batch. Okay. And I'm gonna keep the bucket, the uh, drum right here. Okay. We'll bring everything. Because that's where we're gonna want to dump it. Okay. Uh, we got water. I get the the get the drill in here, right? Yep. Well, what we, we needed to do was put some obstacles in the way, Clayton. I think we did a fine job. Put this out here. I remember now, this was a messy process. <laughs> well, it, it is far nicer to have all of this out in the dooryard. Yeah, yeah. Well, the normal routine is he has a really big machine. I guess you call it like a grout pump. Yes. That pumps... We call it's it the little gypsy. The little gypsy, because it mixes gypcrete out of the yard and is pumped up to a place like this. But this is a relatively small job. Usually you're doing whole houses. So that makes a big difference. That drill really kicks butt. Yeah, I'm impressed.
some of it around and then yep. we'll dump the rest out. Okay. Okay. Well, we're back from commercial break in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> and uh, you want me to stop or? Uh, keep her coming. Keep her coming. Yep. Let me get the handle there. I can. It's almost level, isn't it? And, and you just kind of guide it along here to uh, get it up to level, don't you? Right, or we're trying to get a, uh, an even uh, fill around the nails, which are our guideline. Right. We've accepted the fact that uh, some of the nails may be left standing a little proud, but uh, we'll make them parallel. Which will be level. Or be, be with par yeah, parallel. <laughs> You ever do any math to figure how many square feet of this you've done over the years? Uh, well, yeah, I haven't really, I can't say I've done a lot of math, but on the average we pour uh, 15 to 24 a year, and uh, a typical job is 2,000 square feet. Plus we've done some really big jobs. Yeah. So uh, I believe we've done about five, 500,000 square feet, about half a million square feet, maybe more, in the past 14 but years. 12 acres, 14 acres of... Uh, okay, that's one way of looking at it. I used to try to keep track of how much uh, tubing we put in. Yeah. And I gave up on that. Well, uh, you've been doing this since, what, 87, I think. Right. We do about, uh, go through about 10,000 feet of tubing a month. Some, wow. some months more than that. That's a lot of tubing. You guys have been doing this longer than anybody else in the area. That I know for a fact. Doesn't that look good? Okay. She's starting to thicken up already, isn't she? Uh, no, not really. It's that no. first batch. I think we could have added a little bit more oh, water okay. in, and, and yeah. you can really see the contrast between that and the subsequent batches. Yeah. One thing I uh, never seem to remember is bag sands is very dry. Okay. And the sand we get from uh, pits tends to have a lot of, you know, some moisture, sure. natural moisture sure. in it. So anytime I use bag sand, I should compensate and add a little extra water. In fact, usually we end up using less than the specified amount on mm -hmm. our uh, natural sand pours. Yep. Well, uh, kind of wish we had another bag to pour there, but that's what we got. Well, as, you know, as long as we have level, I mean, relative, it, it's parallel. Thank right. You. Yeah, well, there, parallel yeah. is what we're looking for because we're going to put tile down and, and stable. And it certainly wasn't stable before. And I, I know from experience, it will be stable now. I'm going to try to draw a little from the middle part down this way so that as we progress across the room, it's uh, still a, a gradual pitch. It's amazing, it, it, it appears so fluid. That's the gypsum. How are we gonna get Chris out of here? 
Chris is staying in the bathtub till, till that sets. It only takes two hours, Chris. You might be able to get him to crawl out through the uh, framework over there where the shelf's going to be. Oh, but okay. I don't think so. You thought about this then a little bit. I thought about it. He has them. <laughs> yeah, that's a mighty small opening right there, yeah. isn't it? We'll put the heat on. We'll get it going. I'm going to be quiet if you're taping. <laughs> So was that because of the reamer? Is it hard to keep that reamer no, in there straight? It, no, it was it, that that came out pretty good. It's a little bit. It was a little snugger. Well, Clayton, this has come out really great. It's level, and we did it in less time than the last one we did, which was a smaller job. Yeah, and I'll I'll take your word for it. I don't remember. <laughs> I remember distinctly, and I remember us taping it. And boy, what a difference! This is just going to make. This is such a fantastic substrate for tiling too. I mean, I I've done tiling on several of these floors now and I just love the fact that I've got something that's solid and level. There's no movement the way you would have in a wood floor. I mean, if I, if, even if this was a level flat floor and it was wood, I would be a little bit concerned about we're going to put one square foot, one foot square tiles on here that we would be able to... Um, sure, you'd need something. backer board or uh, yeah, yeah. plaster lab or something. And we like don't that. need any of that, so you just short circuited all those issues. Plus we'll have radiant heat in the floor to boot, so came out really, really nice. And uh, you can turn the heat on once the uh, material has set in another hour or so. Okay. And that'll accelerate the drying time, crack a window, and the sooner it dries, the faster you can get on it with your tiles. Yeah, I figure probably end of the week, we'll go a week or so, and then we'll be ready. We'll Sounds we'll check reasonable. It to make sure. But uh, my experience is that a couple days, and it's pretty, pretty far along. This is a little bit thicker, I think, than we've done in other floors, but it is what it is. This was a weird floor, <laughs> that's for sure. Well, look, I, I thank you for taking the time to, uh, to do this project with us because it came out beautifully. And uh, uh, we're going to have your number at the end of the show, but I'll give it now. We'll have it at the end of the show also. Solar Technic Contractors in East Corinth, Maine, 285-7886. Remember that number. I have it memorized for a good reason because you work with do-it-yourselfers as well as do entire projects. That's right. And been doing this longer than anybody in prob I'm going to say the state of Maine, but certainly in the Bangor market. I'm going to go as far as to say the state of Maine because uh, it's been a long time. And uh, thank you again. Thank you, Tom. And My pleasure. Really, I, I'm just, this is cool. I wish we could do this in the rest of the house, except then we'd be too, no, never mind. Just the bathroom. <laughs>